Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ordonez. Today we're going to read a story called Papa and Me by Arthur Torros and pictures by Rudy Gutierrez. So after reading the title, what does the title tell you about these two people? Again, the title is Papa and Me. Yeah, this is the dad and the son, right? So um, in the story, the, the author, Arthur Doros, was thinking of families when he wrote this story in English, but with many Spanish words. The boy tells what he and his father are doing in English, but many of the words they speak are in Spanish. So throughout the story, I want you to listen for the words in both languages, okay? Let's read the story, Papa and Me. Good morning, I called to Papa. Buenos dias, Papa says back to me. He pushes sleep from his eyes. I am awake and ready to go. It will be a great day for Papa and me. Cantemos, cantemos, we sing. I sing high, he sings low. Our different voices go together. So I want you to just notice Papa and the boy. How do you think they feel about each other from this picture? Just think for a minute. How do you think that they feel about each other? <clears throat> we are always cooking up something new. He wants eggs. I say pancakes. Papa brings down a plate. He flips. I catch. We invent a special food. Sabroso. Papa says it's so tasty. Today I know just where to go. Crossing the street, Papa says, La mano, and takes my hand. I have an idea. Papa has an idea too. Now think about it. They're crossing the street and Papa says, la mano, and he said, he takes his hand. Why do you think the boy asks for, uh, the dad, excuse me, asks for the, dad, for the son's hand? At the park, I splash in the puddles. Papa steps around them. Agua man, water man, he calls me. Water here, water everywhere. Papa swings me over. There's a tree I want to climb. I can't reach the branches. Papa boosts me. Alto, alto, high, I say. I sway with the wind, showing Papa what I can do. I'm flying, flying. Cuidado, be careful, Papa says to me. <clears throat> Mira, look, I tell him. A bird is up there. Aguila, eagle, Papa tells me. He says my eyes see things he can't see. What kind of bird does the boy see? An eagle, right? Yeah. <clears throat> In the sand, I draw Papa's face, la cara. He says and draws me. I want to swim in the water. No ahora, Papa says, not now. It's time to go. I see our bus, the number 43. 
On the bus, Papa stands with his head near the ceiling. I can look out the window. I tell Papa a story and he tells a story to me. Un cuento, he says, about when he was a kid. Our stop, our stop, I say to Papa. I push the button and the bus slows down. Papa and me race the rest of the way. I can do some things better than Papa. He can do some better than me. Ganador, ganador. Who is the winner? I knock on the door. No one answers. Otra vez, Papa says. I try again. The door creaks open. Abuela and abuelo, my grandparents. Papa's mother and father are waiting for us. Abrazos. They give hugs to me and Papa. And that is the end of our story. Wanted to just show you the inside pages because these pages have the words in Spanish and then they have the translation in English. The colors are cool. The pictures throughout the story were pretty cool too, right? So I want you guys just to think. What parts of the story help you understand how the boy and his papa feel about each other? What was going on? What did they do that help, help you understand how both papa and the son feel about each other? Okay? And then um, talk with the parent. Talk with the sibling. Let them know. Tell them how they feel about each other. Okay? Thanks, guys.